Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science as Mike Chen. A couple of stories I really want to get to today. First of all, if you're looking for a super awesome job that not only pays a lot, but also has a galactic impact, then you need to apply for the NASA position of Planetary Protection Officer. This position does sound really cool and it does conjure up images of ray guns and maybe something out of Space Invaders. But what you will be doing is actually way less superhero-y. This job, which there are only two positions in the world, was created after the signing of the Outer Space Treaty in 1967. And this isn't some men in black thing we signed with the Klingons. No, that agreement is locked up somewhere else. But the Outer Space Treaty of 1967 says that when humans are exploring space, let's try our best to not contaminate it. So maybe don't throw any banana peels out the spaceship window and don't leave any bio footprints on the moon or any other planets in case, you know, we find some DNA on Mars, get all excited, hold a huge press conference, and then realize it's just Jack Standruff. Also, the other way is true as well. If you get this job, you need to ensure that that extraterrestrial microbes don't somehow find their way to Earth and, I don't know, eat us. And if you're hearing this now and thinking, well, that doesn't sound very difficult, I'll just plastic wrap everything. I mean, how hard could it be? But this position has some pretty high requirements. You'll need broad engineering expertise, also demonstrated skills in diplomacy that resulted in win-win solutions during extremely difficult and complex multilateral discussions. You also need a degree in physical science or mathematics that include 24 semester hours in physical science and war related related engineering science such as mechanics, dynamics, properties of materials, and electronics. So yeah, I guess I'm out, but if you do qualify, the pay is pretty good. You can make up to $187,000 a year, and you're basically in charge of stopping an alien invasion on a more microscopic scale. And the title sounds really cool. I mean, can you imagine walking up to somebody like, yeah, what do you do? I'm an accountant, what about you? Yeah, I'm Earth's planetary protection officer. And I take the in from aliens and change that to an out. Okay, that's dumb, I'm sorry. Anyway, after you heard all this, if you want to apply, I'll have the link to the job application in my description box below. Good luck. Next up, as the saying goes, the only things for sure are death and taxes, but I'm pretty sure there are those who have successfully cheated on their taxes, but so far, no one has been able to cheat death. Regardless, science is trying. I mean, it's already doing a great job extending our lifespans, and now, according to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, researchers say they've managed to reverse aging in human cells. Scientists made this discovery while looking to prolong the lives of children suffering from progeria, which is an incurable disease that accelerates aging and often will cause the infected to die in their early teens. Researchers wanted to treat this by moderating time-keeping proteins on telomeres, which are proteins that are responsible for holding the human chromosome together. And they tend to erode and get shorter with time. So researchers thought that if they could somehow lengthen the telomeres, then they could effectively regenerate the cells and essentially turn back time. So they tried, and it turned out they were right really right. After using RNA therapeutics, which delivers RNA directly into cells, the results were better than expected. RNA is the molecular sibling of DNA, and it's sort of like a messenger that carries instructions from DNA for controlling the synthesis of proteins. Anyway, according to Dr. John Cook, who is the department chair of cardiovascular sciences at Houston Methodist Research Institute, who is also lead author on the paper, he said, we can make aged cells younger. We were not expecting to see such a dramatic effect on the ability of the cells to prolong it could function and divide more normally, and we gave them extra lifespan as well as better function. We looked at many cellular markers of aging and weren't expecting to see such a dramatic effect on them. Our approach had a much greater effect on all the markers of cellular aging than current therapies. We markedly improved the ability of cells to multiply and reverse the production of inflammatory proteins. Those markers of cell aging we looked at were all reversed with the treatment in our study. And of course, researchers hope that this study will not only help those suffering from progeria, but also help prevent certain diseases related to age, such as heart attacks and strokes. So yeah, who knows? Maybe another 10, 20 years, you could be Wolverine. But guys, let me know a couple things. First of all, are you interested uh, in being this planetary protection officer? Let me know why in the comments. And would you want to stay young forever? Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.